Hi, it's Esther here with a nice but challenging Pilates flow workout to help you get energized and focused ready for the day ahead. So let's begin in all fours, placing your hands slightly further forward and your shoulders, your knees hip distance apart. Gently round your back up towards the ceiling and arch your back. Let your neck and head follow that movement. Just move it in your comfortable range. Then find your neutral lumbar spine position, keeping your back parallel to the floor. Hold that nice straight position and then gently shift your weight towards the right, back over your heels, left and forward, drawing a big circle, keeping your back parallel to the floor, keeping that box shape of the body, the direction other way around. Move one more, your back nice and straight, but then hold that position in the middle, engaging your core and gently turn your hands towards each other. So your fingertips are pointing towards each other. It's kind of like a bulldog position. And then slowly lower your weight down, bending your elbows, opening them up side to side, and then move back up. A couple of times, lowering down and pushing back up. You can carry on practicing at this level or as you lower your weight, extend your right leg and perhaps float your heel up in a line of your spine. It's kind of like a pivoting movement, little extra challenge to reach your left arm forward and then push yourself back up. Same, reaching the left arm, right leg, and you can do perhaps a little curl in between, reaching forward and backwards, and then moving the elbow and the knee towards each other underneath your chest, reaching and lengthening away, tilting your body and then rounding your back. Do one more. Reach and extend. Move your back into the center position and keep your leg elevated and extended. Open up your left arm towards the ceiling sideways. Then reach underneath your left shoulder. Open it up. And then reach underneath the right shoulder. You can even lower your weight down. If you feel that you're too wobbly, try to lower your leg, keep your toes on the ground. Then open up, twist your back as far as you're comfortable with. Probably you will feel a little bit more stable. Let's try one more of that. Twist, open up, and then relax back down. Bend your knee. Gently twist your lower leg towards the right side. Extend your left leg in the line of your spine and then reach up with your left arm. And lengthening in the line of your spine. Lengthen the whole body. And then lift your leg up, lift your arm up. Reaching and lengthening and then lift towards your toes. Keeping that nice straight line of your left leg, knee and your hand. Oh, one more. Reach and lengthen, keep your leg up in the air and then curl elbow and knee in front of you and then reach away. Curl. Reach and lengthen. One more. Reaching again, relaxing your knee down and then pushing yourself back up in a kneeling position. With your knees hip distance apart, tuck your pelvis underneath. 
Squeeze your sitting bones together and then engage your core. Hold that upright position, lengthening your whole spine. Relax your shoulders backwards and downwards. From this position, lean back and move back to the center. So keeping that straight line with your upper body and your thigh, moving back to the center. Engaging your core, tilting the pelvis underneath, reaching the tailbone down towards your knees, your pubic bone up towards your chest, engaging that core in the middle. Very nice. Then reach up with your right one in a little diagonal angle, same on that left side. Add a little twist to this movement, leaning backwards, then open up your chest towards the left and towards the right side. Leaning as far as you're comfortable with. I'm gonna have one more of that. Moving back to the center, relaxing your arms down. Brilliant. Release the shoulders backwards and downwards. And this time, you're gonna fold through the hips and knees, keeping that straight line of our spine, elongating the arms towards the heels. Move the shoulders backwards, engage your core. So make sure you're not overarching your lower back and then start pumping your arms up and down. Moving from your shoulder, keeping your arm nice and straight. Do five little pausing motions as you inhale and five little movements as you exhale. Similar to our Pilates hundreds exercise. Inhale and exhale. Keep the collarbones nice and wide. Long inhalation and long exhalation. Carry on for two more deep breaths. One more. Exhale. Release, reach all the way up, relax your arm down, reach towards the left side, extend your right leg. Engage your core, hold that position, reach and lengthen your arm, keep that nice straight line, and then float your heel up, lift your arm up, and then move back, reach and lengthen. A few more of that. Keep your body nice and open. Direct your lower most hips slightly forward. Gonna have one more. Hold the leg, lengthen your arm, and then curl in front of your chest. Reach away, and then move your elbow, move your knee in front of your chest. Curling your whole back. Engaging your core and actively pushing yourself away from the ground. One more of that. Reach and lengthen and then relax, pivot down and extend your left leg. Relax the shoulders backwards and downwards and then turn your palms towards each other. So we have that bold up position. Lower your chest. Or if you chose the version without the leg movement, just keep your knees on the ground. Otherwise, extend your left, then push yourself back up. Float your heel. Gently nod your chin. One more, add your arm movement, opposite, so left leg, right arm reaching forward, 
moving back. Lower, push back, and you can add an extra curl underneath and then reach away from each other. One more. Reach and um, push your chest back up in the center position. Keep your leg extended and then open up your right arm towards the side. Reach underneath your left shoulder. Open up your chest and reach across in front of your chest. If you feel that you're too wobbly, you can simply lower your toes on the ground, but keep your leg nice and engaged. Either version you choose, make sure you're safe and you're able to practice the exercise well. One more time. And then relax all the way down, right into the all fours position. Gently arch and curl your back. And if you're ready for our final challenge, and a little bit of a stretch, tuck your toes under and push yourself up into your V position. Hold that position, raise your heels up, engage your core, and then run your back forward into a plank position. So we'll move back up into downward facing dog, heels up, engaging your core, rolling your body forward, keep that nice length, and then roll back up. for that stretch. One more. Hold that stretch, downward facing dog. Raise both heels up and then spin both heels towards the right side. Heels up again in the middle and then towards the left side. So you end up in a little twist. One more towards the left. Move back to the center and then fold your knees, lower them down and then relax your weight backwards into child position. Deep inhalation, long exhalation here, then roll forward in all fours. Neutral on both spine, lowering your chest and your tummy slightly and then crossing your left arm over your right Shifting your weight back, back to the center and cross your arms and then repeat it on the other side. Emphasize that stretch, moving back. You can relax your feet and do the same arm movement, crossing over, reach a little bit further away from your shoulder with your uppermost arm. And then back out of here. Sinking your hips towards your heels, moving back to the center, and then in the middle, back over your heels for a few deep breaths. You can relax your arms. Do a few little circles with your hands and wrists. And then slowly roll back up into kneeling position, relaxing the shoulders. And that's it for today. Thank you so much for joining me while down for completing this workout. I hope you enjoyed it. See you next time. Bye.